Charles, could you explain the connections between the British royal family and Freemasonry? I only know that the Duke of Kent is a Freemason, but his wife and kids are Catholic. How far does Freemasonry's reach go in the House of Windsor? And if the monarchy were to be converted in the future, how would Freemasonry be removed from it? Well, that's a good question. And the answer is that Edward VII, Queen Victoria obviously was not a Freemason because she was a woman. Edward VII, her son, was a Freemason, although we have it on the authority of people like Monsignor Vaughan that he came into the church uh, on his deathbed. Um, I don't know. I wasn't there, but that's what's said. George V was the head of the Grand of the Grand Lodge of England as king, and so were Edward VIII and George VI. Mm. Then came Elizabeth. Now Elizabeth, like Victoria, could not be head of the Freemasons in England, so it devolved to one of her uncles. In this case, the Duke of Kent, who's uh, the current Duke of Kent, is actually her cousin, first cousin. Her son, uh, Prince Charles, refused to become a Freemason. So to answer your question, how would they slough it off? Well, it's been done in the sense that uh, the Prince of Wales isn't a Freemason, and I don't believe either of his sons are. Um, they may have other problems, but not that. Mm. Um, now, the Duke of Kent, as you rightly mentioned, uh, his wife is a convert, as are, uh, well, one of his sons, Lord Nicholas Windsor, is a convert as well. And another of his sons uh, is married to a Catholic, and his children are Catholic. Um, so, you know, the Kents have gotten kind of, and then Prince Michael of Kent, the Duke of Kent's younger brother, is also married to a Catholic. So the, the Kents are in kind of a weird, uh, a weird setup. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, um, Lord Nicholas Windsor is probably the highest ranking Catholic in the nation. Um, and he's very much the forefront of pro-life and things like that. And also a great supporter of the ordinary. Mm. Um, and also a patron of the Society of King Charles the Martyr. Whoa, he hits all the, wow, okay. He hits every, he hits all the points. Yeah. Uh, and he's, he's married to a, he's married to a good Croatian uh, noblewoman, so uh, all is well in this best of all possible worlds. <laughs> uh, I love that. So, to answer your question, how would they slough it off if they convert it? Well, as far as the Wales are concerned, it's already been sloughed off. Mm -hmm. They haven't converted yet. Okay. 